picked up by Tacho. Oh, what a point that is. It's a perfect point. Miri Fay into the deep part of the court. that is as well, Maria Fay. My volleyball journey started back in Peru. I was born in Lima and into a very active and sporty family. My brother played all sorts of different sports. My sister played all sorts of different sports as well. Also volleyball for the national program. Um, so I guess that's kind of how I got involved into volleyball, always going to her matches and her trainings. Um, I remember when I was three, I used to just pick up the ball and just ask her to play with me all the time. Um, but I played all sorts of different sports when I was young, but I think I was just um, more, more um, I guess, attracted to volleyball because my sister played. I moved to Australia when I was 11 years old with just my mom. Um, it was an exciting challenge. I never really had a fear. I was super excited to um, leave Peru and start a new life. Um, I knew there were so many more opportunities here in Australia for me in volleyball than I had in Peru. Um, I didn't speak actually a word of English, so it was going to be um, very different. But for me, I found that sport was a way of communicating. I think sport is an interna international language. So that's how I um, quickly felt like I belong. I have had many strong and powerful women around me since I was a young girl, especially my mum. My mum has been a big role model for me. Um, I've often played both a mum and a dad. Um, role when I was growing up. When I moved to Australia, it was only mum and I. Um, so yeah, my mum and I have always been a team since um, we came here and she's always been by my side. So um, yeah, I'll forever be grateful for her. And yeah, when I came to Australia, my auntie who was already living here um, was also there for us. You know, we started from practically zero when we moved to Australia. My mum only moved here with a thousand dollars, an 11 year old. And so yeah, we had to start from the beginning. She, you know, she had two jobs to try and get, get herself going and be able to support me. So yeah, she's been a huge um, role model for me and will forever be an inspiration. Um, and I think that's, you know, where I get that, that inner strength from and that fight spirit. Um, you know, she's always said to me, you know, um, believe in yourself and listen to your heart and you'll be able to achieve anything. So forever grateful for that. So yeah, my auntie worked 2000 Olympics here in Sydney and she was part of a breakfast post the game that where Natalie Cook and Kerry Potters won the gold medal. And my auntie told, I had a bit of a chat to them and she told them that she had um, a niece in Peru, but she actually was talking about my sister because she was the older one. And she said, you know, I've got this niece in Peru, she plays um, volleyball and, you know, could you please write her a little message for her? So they had these postcards where they had a photo of them on the podium with the gold medal. And on the back it said, um, you know, to Maria Jose, which is my sister's name, um, always follow your dreams, go for gold. And then my auntie uh, went to Peru and delivered this card to my sister. And I remember it clearly. Um, I like grabbed it of her and I read it and I saw the postcard photo and I saw them, you know, all super happy with a medal around their necks on the podium. And I straight away said, I want to do that. I want to go to the Olympics and I want to win a medal. And that moment was where it really ignited my Olympic dream. Um, you know, I think I was about seven years old at the time and I never really knew about the Olympics. Obviously, it had never come to Peru, so I didn't know about it. Uh, but yeah, from that moment, I just knew I wanted to go to the Olympics and win an Olympic medal. Rio was an incredible experience. I think it was so cool to go to one already before Tokyo. I think I knew what to expect. Um, even though it was different due to the pandemic, um, I kind of treated Tokyo more as business time. Rio was just cool to be a part of it and good to experience what it really took to be in the podium. I got super motivated when I came home and I, I said to myself, Tokyo, we're gonna medal. And I knew we were gonna medal. When I finished my career as an athlete, I'd love for people to remember me for the impact I had on them, the positive impact I had on them and for who I am as a person. Some people think that the medals and the results are great, but at the end of the day, what really defines someone is, you know, the kindness and how you, and what kind of impact you have on them. So that's my biggest message and that's always 
something I'm super strong about. Um, so that's one way I'd love to be remembered. My biggest piece of advice for anyone who wants to chase a dream is to remain true to yourself, always back yourself in and don't let anyone or anything get in the way of them.